Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed, reliable robotics to begin remote piloted air ops in Africa. United Airlines purchases 200 EVE EV tall aircraft. And Boeing demonstrates architecture for MQ-25. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Reliable Robotics to Begin Remote Piloted Air Ops in Africa Reliable Robotics and Kenya-based cargo operator Astral Aviation have announced their collaboration in using autonomous cargo aircraft throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. Reliable Robotics has been hard at work seeking certification of its automated Cessna Caravan 208, making headway as they obtain approval for fully autopiloted flights with a safety pilot at the helm. Reliable has begun laying the groundwork for international expansion into locales that could most benefit from their systems. Astral Aviation is similarly young and hungry, growing quickly with a 15-strong fleet and an uncrewed UAV subsidiary in Central Africa. The caravan is already a favorite in the area, operating throughout the continent as a reliable, functional workhorse for far-flung settlements and villages alike. Currently, more than 350 208s are flying across Africa, the poster child of single-engine turbine bush plane. Reliable Robotics will expand the air cargo network of the region, improving economic access in a region where most major cities lie more than 2,500 miles apart. The company sees their automation as a solution that can help reduce prices and avoid many of the inherent difficulties of operating in the area, like the busy ports, poor road networks, sparse infrastructure, and lacking pilot core. And after the break, Electra successfully tests hybrid engine. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the uncrewed vehicle communities. Electra successfully tests hybrid engine. Electra's hybrid propulsion system is being integrated into a pilot technology demonstrator aircraft with which the company plans to demonstrate and chart the vehicle's ultra-short takeoff and landing performance and fuel burn. The engine's constituent technologies were developed for Electra's nine-passenger e stole and will ultimately be scaled to larger aircraft. Electra's hybrid system comprises a combination of high-power battery packs and a turbo generator which powers eight electric motors and their respective propellers. Testing of the system took place at the company's propulsion development facility in Switzerland. UAS right-of-way rules in development. The FAA has provided additional Assure funding to the University of North Dakota's John D. Odergaard School of Aerospace Sciences. The monies will facilitate the school's ongoing research into right-of-way rules using technologies associated with autonomous flight. As the business of developing UAV right-of-way rules is apparently a complex one, UND is working collectively with the University of Kansas and Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University using IRIS automation and SageTech avionics detect and avoid solutions for cooperative and non-cooperative traffic. NASA looks to late September Artemis launch date. 
On August 29, 2022, the first attempted launch of Artemis 1 was scrubbed on account of a quartet of irregularities comprising a faulty engine temperature sensor, an 11-minute communications delay between the spacecraft and ground control, a cryofuel leak, and a crack in the insulating foam of the joints between the SLS's liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen tanks. Sources within the space agency have unofficially posited the next attempt to get Artemis 1 moonbound will be made either Friday the 23rd or Tuesday the 27th of September 2022, pursuant to the SLS rocket demonstrating soundness. SpaceX to launch Iridium satellites The mystery launch provider for Iridium's next satellite launches has been revealed, with an agreement for SpaceX to take five of the company's second-generation satellites aboard its Falcon 9. The satellites will go to join the rest of the next-gen communications network that the company began launching in 2017. The mission, Iridium-9, will take place at Vandenberg Space Force Base in the middle of 2023 as they deploy five of the company's six spare satellites for added network redundancy. Well, that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. United Airlines purchases 200 EVE Evital aircraft. United Airlines announced a $15 million investment in EVE Air Mobility with a conditional purchase agreement for 200 of the Mark's four-seater eVTOL aircraft. The deal includes an option for 200 more aircraft, with the initial deliveries expected to take place in 2026. The EVE aircraft are intended to become flying taxis for United, sustainable short-range commuters that will allow the airline to start laying the groundwork for the impending urban air mobility ecosystem. As part of that effort, United has been fairly involved in a number of new aviation systems throughout the burgeoning industry, being the first major airline to create a corporate venture fund to specifically support green aeronautical companies. Their overarching goal company-wide is to reach net zero emissions by 2050, not a very outlandish target on its own, but United intends to play the game on hard mode and reach it without relying on any traditional offsets. As such, they've tapped into a handful of green tech, including electric aircraft, uncrewed vehicles, hydrogen fuel cell systems, and sustainable aviation fuel. Prior to the EVE deal, United gave a $10 million deposit to Archer, a California eVTOL company, for 100 of their aircraft as well. And after these messages, Boeing demonstrates architecture for MQ-25. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Boeing demonstrates architecture for MQ-25. A longtime sci-fi fantasy is nearing fruition after Boeing demonstrated their new, quote, open autonomy architecture for the uncrewed MQ-25. The architecture is non-proprietary based on the government's open mission system for maximum interoperability. The end result is that crewed aircraft can task autonomous MQ-25 aircraft to carry out new directives in air. Boeing's test aircraft included Northrop Grumman's E-2D Advanced Hawkeye C&C aircraft, Boeing's P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft, and Boeing's F-A-18 Block III Super Hornet fighter. The planes used existing operational flight programming, software, and data links to task four virtual autonomous MQ-25s with ISR missions. The demos P-8 and E-2D were able to push tasks to the MQ-25 with an ISR mission while specifying a given search area and no-fly zones, allowing the autonomous aircraft to validate the command against previously given operational constraints, plan its route, and conduct a search pattern with minimal oversight. 
Boeing software structure Aurora allows for a decoupling of the MQ-25's flight safety and critical components from mission software and sensor hardware. Eventually, Boeing intends for Aurora to enable third-party software for the aircraft. In their testing, the Naval Air Warfare Center's aircraft division created a new radar search app for the MQ-25 that saw use during the demonstration. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!